Reusable rockets are here. Space exploration's going to take off. In November 2015, space enthusiasts lost their minds from a company called Blue Origin. The company launched a vehicle called New Shepard into suborbital space, then returned it, landing it safely upright on a landing pad. If that's not enough, they did it again on January 22nd, 2016, using the very same launch vehicle. It's a reusable rocket. Meanwhile, SpaceX showed it had a similar capability with its Falcon 9 launch vehicle, returning the first stage back to Earth, landing upright after delivering a payload into orbit. So why do I think this is such a cool thing? Well, there are two reasons, really. The first is that just building a launch vehicle in the first place is really, really hard to do. Making one that can actually come back to Earth and land safely is monumentally more challenging. But perhaps more importantly, this has the potential of drastically reducing the cost of getting stuff into space. Now, you may have heard that there's a general rule of thumb that it costs about $10,000 to launch every pound of material into orbit, or about $22,000 per kilogram, if you prefer. This could lower that cost significantly because a lot of it goes into the design and building of a launch vehicle. Or to put it another way, imagine that you're going to go on a family vacation. Road trip, everybody, but first, you have to buy a brand new car. So you purchase the car, you all pile in, and you drive across country where you ditch the car. I guess in this scenario, you get a bus ticket home or something. Anyway, every time you want to go on a future vacation, the cost includes the sticker price of a brand new car. That's pretty expensive, and I bet it would limit your holiday plans. By reducing those costs, we're going to see more scientific instruments and consumer technology launched into orbit. SpaceX actually said that in 2013, it cost about $60 million to launch a vehicle into space. They want to get that cost down to five to seven million dollars, which means we're going to learn a lot more and our technological prowess will grow. Also, space tourism will finally become a thing and not just for multi-millionaires. Now, there's no telling exactly how much it's going to cost to go up into suborbital space and experience weightlessness, but it can't be nearly as expensive as it was for people like Richard Garriott to go to the International Space Station. So that's a plus. Meanwhile, both SpaceX and Blue Origin are working on some lofty goals. Ah? SpaceX will be testing the Falcon Heavy rocket, which they call the most powerful rocket on Earth. Meanwhile, Blue Origin is testing its BE-4 engine, which will be capable of pushing a launch vehicle into orbit. It's really an exciting time to be a space enthusiast, which leads me to a question for you guys. What upcoming space project has you excited and why? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit like, subscribe to the Forward Thinking channel to become part of the Think Tank. Big thanks to Toyota for sponsoring the show and making it possible. And finally, after all that, set a course for these videos right over here.